Colton, Wyvern, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. Stand up to be a grand up with St Andrew's Square Shopping Centre, Droitwich Spa. Welcome to a rather wet Worcester where I'm with Jim who's about to do his stand-up challenge in a baker's. How are you feeling? Well, a bit uh, pastry-fied and nervous, but yeah, I think I can do this. Nervous? Just a little bit. Not as much as last time, but I'll be all right. Not as much as last time, he says. Okay, well, I'm smelling steak and kidney already, so whilst you're standing upping, I'll be eating, I think. Mm. And I'll be just creaming myself. Looking at you. Creaming himself. He's got the jokes out already. Wyvern, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have five minutes, my man here is going to try an attempt at stand up comedy in a baker's. And make you all laugh with it. What do they call it? A chocolate eclair face. Let's have it. Jim, it's over to you. And your ring donuts. You're Thank you very much. Right then, folks. I've come on the Wyvern, as you know, the FM, stand up for a comedy act, in Greg's. And as you know, I've, I've started off today, I've prepared myself. I bought a razor with five blades on, one for each chin. Don't laugh, you can borrow it if you want to. <laughs> right? I had to stand at a bus stop with another fatty. He hasn't had your pies, I know that. But I did manage to get here because it was my turn to get on the bus. That was quite good. I've also down the pub the other day, and I saw one of these baker mans. You know the old baker bikes with the, blas the, the basket fronts on? And he said, I'll tell you what, Jim, I've had every woman in Ryland Street in Ever. I said, no, you haven't, have you? I live in Ryland Street. He said, every, I've had everyone but one. I went, Christ, whew, that's lucky. Well, anyway, I got myself home. I said, hey, Jack, I said, that baker man who comes in that local, he said he's had every man or every woman in Ryland Street. I went, no. I said, yeah, he has. He said, she said, I bet it's that snotty cow at number 12. I went, no, you can't be doing that. So I sort of what I've done myself today, right? We've all got them bread making machines, and we? We don't want to do Greg's out of business or any other f Ferraris, what they call the Ferraris bakery shop. So we've all got them bread making machines. We have for Christmas, never use them. I've done my own, because I've got one. And I'm trying to help the homeless and deprived, the people who sleep in our doorways. And I think what I've done on my bread making machine I would just, sorry love, I would just have to show you my invention, if Greg's can take this on, I'll tell you what, you're in for a winner now, right? Watch this space. The ideal loaf for the down and out to sleep in our doorways. You've got to have your five a day. We've got nuts, we've got raisins, we've got bread, we've got whole meal. Missing one. What do all these people want in the street? Cider. It's there implemented in food and alcohol in a loaf. You cannot beat it. You can eat it, you can drink it. It's good for everyone, it's good for them all. If Greg's can do this or every baker can do this, just don't want off to your local a down and out tramp in the doorways of every shopping precinct you see. And I think it should be all right. Because as you can see, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very anorexic. I see a fat person in the morning in the mirror every day. I've actually got go on a waist size, belt size, or any other size. I had a tattoo of a golf ball put in my belly when I was 17. It's now turned into a football. So I reckon I saved a bit of money there, don't you think? But what... I did have an interview with a bakery shop once. Not believe it, but I did, right? I went in there, I said, I had this interview. He said, have you ever been in a baking shop before? I said, no, I haven't not. I said, but I can do this. But he said, but Christ, you've got a terrible, terrible twitching and wink in your eye. I said, I know. I said, but I can get over that. With an aspirin, that wink, that wink will go. And as I dragged into my pocket, I dragged out 14 condoms in a row and then found the aspirin. He said, Christ, that works a treat. He said, that worked a treat. I said, I know. I said, have you ever gone to the chemist and asked for a condom or an aspirin like that? And I always ask for an aspirin, end up with bloody condoms. <laughs> That's me done. Wyvern, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. From the staff's point of view, what do we think? I think it's very difficult to actually come into a shop and try and be 
a comedian when people are trying to get served and everything. I did even, I think he did very well. I well, laughed. You laughed. I say, what about the quality of the gags? What do you reckon? Um, can I be honest? Yeah, of course you can. Average. Average. I had heard um, quite a lot of them oh. before, so I knew what the punchline was going to be, but I still laughed anyway. Okay. How did that go? Well, actually, not as nervous as I actually thought. I think it went very well. You had, had quite a lot of stuff there, wasn't it? I didn't know you were going to be reeling off stuff quite so much. I actually didn't realise it was that much stuff, but I did write down about 12 to 15 jokes and I was an add-on to it. Basically, I did forget a few. Yeah, okay, we've had this before, but it worked out all right. Now, yes. where did the idea for the cider and the bread come from? That's a, a joke I, heard, I used years ago when I was on a fishing trip. And I actually put cider into a loaf of bread, went on a deep sea fishing trip and said, I don't bother eating on a deep sea fishing trip. I got my cider. And I opened a loaf of bread, I ate the loaf of bread to feed the, the fish and drank my cider. So that's, that's one a, of the best fishing trips I've ever heard of. That's a 20-year-old joke, I can imagine, on my part, yes. Really? But, yeah, and I just added it to, to today's situation of... Being in the bakers. Yeah, yeah. Being in the bakers. Did, did it feel as good as it did 20 years ago? Yes. I'm talking about the joke now, obviously. Yes, I mean, my mates expected something silly off me, but it, this is different, a new audience, and they still appreciate it, and it's 20-year-old. Was it like being in a baker's? Because I know there wasn't a massive captive audience. It's not like we'd hope with the queues like we've had in other challenges. Yeah, it was, to a certain degree. A few stragglers come in, and it was nice that the staff behind the counter actually stood there and watched. Because they could have quite easily done a runaway now. They could also they? go to the oven and do other things. But, yeah, they did appreciate it. I, I hope to think, and they all shook my hand. It was just quite nice. Done well. It's live in.